Hey, Chris Cosby here, CEO of Park Ridge Health System, coming to you with this week's edition of What's Your Why Wednesday. Today I've got Leslie Wittenberg with me. She's an infusion nurse here at the Park Ridge Medical Center. So Leslie, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely, absolutely. I always hear great things about you and and um, and I just want to love to get to know more about you through this video. So Thank you. real quick, tell me about Leslie. Where are you from and that type of stuff, family and stuff like that? I'm actually from Saudi Daisy. Okay. I'm married to Mr. Buster Wittenberg and I have two boys, Morgan and Travis, and they're married to lovely wives, Ashley and Maddie, and I have seven grandchildren. Seven. You have seven. a favorite? Do you have a favorite grandchild? I have. I love all my grandchildren. <laughs> my first thinks that she's the favorite all the time, but yeah. she's just been there the longest. Okay, what's <laughs> their ranges and the ages of the grandkids? 14 to 4. Okay, so I like it's a nice range. Yes. I have a 14-year-old daughter. <laughs> that's a whole different That's a whole different It really world. is when yeah. they're girls, too. It, it really is. So you had two boys, right? I had two so boys. So you're getting experience, the girl side of it, with your grandchildren. Yeah, I, have, I have six girls and one boy grandchild. <laughs> wow, wow, so that's awesome. It's, it's that's good. awesome. Thank you. So being in Saudi Daisy, you know, I hear a lot of people are excited about our free standing yard that's going to open end of April, 1st of May. Yes, a lot yeah. of people are excited about it. And so even if I go to Walmart, someone who sees Park Ridge here, they're like, oh, we're so glad y'all are coming. Yeah, and yeah, I'm excited about, I'm always excited about any time we do expansions, but to see a community so excited about something that's got me even more excited about it. It's really needed, you yeah, know, especially yeah. with like major hospital systems being so far apart. That's right, that's right. We'll grow with the community as yes. well. So, um, question for you, how long have you worked at Park Ridge? I've been at Park Ridge uh, almost 33 years. Wow, that's, that is awesome. Yeah. So what is the range of your positions in those 33 years, if you don't mind me asking? I don't mind. I started as a transporter for nursing service. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have my high school diploma. Wow. And so they told me you have a year. So I did that and then I was around nurses and my good friend was mm -hmm. wanting to be a nurse. So we went to nursing school together. And during that time I cross trained as a secretary. I worked as a PCT and I cross trained as a monitor okay. tech to be more flexible in my schedule. All right. Been a nurse since 99 and I've been in infusion since 2001. Okay, that's awesome. So doing an infusion here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, you do awesome work. And, Thank you. And you know, we have good days and we have bad days, right? And um, and you get to see some ups and downs through the process of what you do every day. Yes. Um, so on those bad days, I've always said there's got to be something internally that drives you, and I view that as part of what's your why. So Leslie, what's your why? My why is, uh, when I was a little girl, I always said I wanted to be a teacher or a nurse. My grandmother said, you can be both. You can be more effective as a nurse. Mm -hmm. And there was actually a nurse who worked here that okay. took care of my grandmother. She was very sick, and her name was Martha Sweeney. Okay. And I think Martha, I've heard someone mention that name before. Yes. She yeah. was actually my grandmother's neighbor. They okay. didn't know it until after they started taking care of one another as they lived so closely. But my grandmother told me one time, she said, Martha cares more for you with the touch of her hand and the sound of her voice than she does with any medicine. Yeah. And I was like, that's what I want to do. That's awesome. And so I, I treat people like I want to be treated. Yeah. And I put the little mantra from my grandmother in there and I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, you know, supporting her. I'm kind of awesome. living her legacy. So. From, well, from what I hear about you, you 100% are doing that. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about you, so I, I appreciate what you do. And you know, in, in the orientation, and I say it in other videos as well, we really do want to care like family and mm -hmm. treat each other like family and treat each other how we want to be treated or we want our loved ones treated very similar to your story so yes co-workers a lot too that's part of our family as well I, I think sometimes people forget that we spend more time with our work family than we do our actual family mm -hmm. and we have to remember that that's and true remember just to have those check-in conversations with how are you doing or you can tell when someone's down and kind of say well, how's it going or anything i can help you with or anything you want to talk about so I'm sure you do that. I do, and I have a lot of checking conversations with God because, you know, he'll kind of like... He does do me. that. His Check timing, that attitude. <laughs> his timing is impeccable. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I want you to know, again, I appreciate everything you do every day. I really have heard great things about you. and Thank you. I appreciate you giving our patients the care they deserve, but also caring about your peers as well. Thank you for, for what you do. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, too. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Well... <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of What's Your Why? We'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.